Dr. Mindy here, and on this video, we're diving in to the best fast for weight loss, the 36-hour fast. And I wanna show you how you can eat to prepare for it, and I wanna talk about how do you break it. Both of those strategies are gonna help with your weight loss efforts. In this video, I really wanna talk about how do we go about preparing for a 36 hour fast so you get the maximum weight loss. Also, how do we break the fast so you keep the weight loss? So here we go. I'm gonna break this down as simply as possible. So remember that what when we're dealing with the two metabolisms, we've got the sugar burner metabolism and the fat burner metabolism. So the name of the game when we're burning fat with, with fasting is we're trying to get to the fat burner metabolism as quickly as possible. So we can do that by making sure that we're avoiding some foods and that we're actually adding some foods in that will make our sugar burner system more efficient and therefore move us over to fat burner as quickly as possible. And here are some of the strategies to doing that. So, and it's, um, it's really cool because I put in here a 30 day fasting reset for you all to follow. Men can follow it too. Um, and what I did is I have a pre reset in here where you can actually prepare yourself for fasting. So here's what your pre reset. What I want you to know is that you want to make sure that you are avoiding some key foods. And most of them are the standard American diet. Most of them are things you're going to find when you walk into your grocery store in the in the center uh, of the uh, of your grocery store all that food in there if it has a long shelf life its shelf life is long because they've put chemicals and oils in there to preserve them those are going to make it more difficult. Those chemicals and those oils are going to make it more difficult for you to switch over to fat burner. It's going to take you longer. So here are some of the foods that I want you to avoid. First is I want you to get rid of all the harmful oils. If you don't know what the harmful oils are, they're in the book. Uh, a, a couple of the, the ones that you're probably eating that you might not be aware of are like vegetable oil, soybean oil, canola oil. Those are kind of the biggies. Second food group of foods that you're going to want to avoid going in before going into that 36 hour fast are the breads, the cakes, the pastas, the cookies, those processed refined flours. The problem with those is they spike your blood sugar, combine them with like some vegetable oil. And now you've got this blood sugar that's so high, it's going to take a long time for it to come down so that it can switch over into fat burner. But if we eat the same thing where we eat like maybe a, a, a piece of chicken and some salad, your fat burner system, your sugar burner system's not going to spike as high. And so therefore you're going to move over to fat burner much quicker. So when we prepare for the fat burner uh, reset, this 36 hour fast, what I want you to do is make sure you're avoiding the oils and you're avoiding the processed carbs. Those are the two most important things. And again, there's tons of lists in here that you can focus on. I even talk about foods that you can add in before you go into a longer fast. To me, the 36 hour fast is a longer fast. That, is, that to me, anything over 24 hours is longer. But if you decide a couple of days leading up to this 36 hour fast that you're gonna take the bad oils out and take the refined carbohydrates, you're gonna lose more weight when you're in the 36 hours. So let's just start with, with that concept for a moment. Now, the other part of this is once you go into the 36 hours, you know, the, the thing that, the way I do something like this is that you're, the hardest part is when you get to dinner, like it's seven o'clock, six o'clock at night, and you're like, what do I do? I'm hungry, perhaps. Just go to bed, go to sleep, let your body repair. And when you wake up the next morning, a lot of times you're not gonna be that hungry. So, you know, if you get to that dinner time and you're struggling, drink some water, have some element, our favorite mineral pack, um, and maybe some tea, and go to bed and then wake up the next morning, you only have 12, about 12 hours at that point to go. When you go to break your fast, I want you to break it with protein, and here's why. You've heard me say this on many other videos, and that's that protein is really going to create, stimulate something called mTOR. And mTOR builds muscle. 
So in a 36 hour fast, you've been breaking down, breaking down. The body's going after that stored uh, glucose and fat. Now it's time to rebuild. So put some protein in and protein, if you hit 30 grams of protein at that first meal, you'll trigger an amino acid sensor in your, within your muscles that will build your muscles strong. Now here's where we can start stacking all these things together. So we prepare the body going in to the fast with the tips I showed you. We do the 36 hour fast, a little longer, so we force the body to go burn fat. And then we come in with protein and we, we get those amino acids triggered so that we're building muscle. You could even throw a, a workout in at that point as well if you had energy. And as muscle is building, your metabolism becomes more efficient. Your metabolism, literally, they say that the more muscle, more muscle you have, the faster your metabolism. You also are, have more insulin receptor sites. So if you're really struggling to lose weight, I love this style of looking at the foods you want to avoid, going into the fast, do a 36 hour, come out eating protein, break it with protein, go do some weightlifting around that time so you can build the muscle strong. Now you're not just doing like a crash diet, you're actually setting your body up so that the day after you do that scenario, you're more efficient at fat burning. So the weeks following that scenario, you're gonna be a better fat burner. That's the whole name of the game here, right? So when, where diets have failed us is that they're temporary and we have a temporary result. When you look at a 36 hour fast, the way I just taught you, what happens is you're literally training your body to be a better fat burner and a better fat burner. Okay, have you been watching my videos and you're like, I don't know how to put this stuff all together? You might need my fasting lifestyle free course. I'll teach you exactly how to do it. Just click on the link below. It'll take it to you and it's absolutely free. My gift to you. Now, last thing I want to tell you is a lot of you have asked me about, well, I don't know what 30 grams of protein looks like. I don't know how to break a fast. I put it all in a book because you've asked me so much. I wanted to make sure you had it. Not only did I do a whole chapter, check this out. Chapter nine, how to break a fast. Whole chapter for you on how to break a fast, but I actually put in recipes so that you can start to look because a lot of people are like, well, yeah, I get what you're telling me, but what does this look like in action? So I have a whole section in my book of recipes on how to break a fast. I got you covered. I wanted to make sure that this was the go-to manual for women. I've now, in talking with so many people about the book, I realized that, yeah, there's so much in here for men as well. It's just that we didn't have our own book, women, and we needed our own book to be able to understand the nuance of fasting for women. And so now we have our own book. So there you go. That's the magic formula. If you want to start to lose weight and you're struggling with weight loss using fasting, please don't give up. Tip to go into that 36 hour fast. Do it the way I just taught you. Go back and watch the video I did on what, cell metabolism. And, but I really want to start this discussion with you all because I want you to get results. I'm in this to win it for you so that you can get the best results. I know you're struggling to lose weight. It may be your fasting length. So in this video, I'm gonna show you the perfect fasting length to unstick weight loss. In fact, it's such an incredible tool for weight loss. I think you should start with fasting before you change your food to be able to get into that door in for losing weight.